watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 195 Use X Pages to fill in a PDF form, maybe even a TPS report. Okay, so this comes from my MW Lug presentation. I believe this is the third one that I did in that presentation, a third out of seven. And, uh, quite honestly, I, I ran out of time uh, in there. I, I was rushing near the end and, and, and kind of sweating it, but I, I hope that the content didn't come across live. But this is kind of like the director's cut, where I'm going to go slower and go through everything. So first thing I'll say is this uh, presentation, this demo file and everything is up on GitHub. Uh, so you're welcome to grab that uh, if you want and, and kind of play with it and pick it apart. And we'll probably even look at that in another show, too. Um, so this is about creating a PDF form. So you're given a, a fillable PDF form. And I don't know how to make the form an Acrobat myself. I, I have gotten these forms. I can change the field names, but I don't know how to make one from scratch. And quite honestly, I can only figure out how to make basic edits to moving some fields around or so. So I've, I've not figured that out at all. And uh, quite honestly, I don't care because they're given to me, so I don't need to know. Um, but just be aware of that, uh, that you've got to make the form. This is about a fixed form, so this is not about a repeat control or, or repeating unlimited rows of data or expanding fields. I, I don't know how you'd make a field expand inside a, 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 an Acrobat PDF. Um, you can get away with, you know, like a repeating table, like a, like a, like any kind of table or so if you wanted to. Um, but there you're kind of like making the form from scratch. Which is doable, and maybe maybe we'll do that demo in the future at some point. And then if you want to combine that with a fixed header form, which is kind of what what I've got here, then yeah, you actually have to make multiple PDFs and then combine them together. Which again, that is very well doable as well. Uh, but the repeating stuff is is this demo is not about repeating information. This is about um, you know filling out a form. Um, I suggest that you don't have spaces in your field names. Uh, I didn't really run into a problem. I just saw. Uh, my fields come in with spaces and it kind of like scared me, so I like to call the spaces out and, and put the field names in the camel case. Um, in this case here, I, I imported um, the, the PDF file itself into file resources in the NTF, and I believe I forgot to show that in the demo, uh, but it's there. Um, under file resources, there's, there's an actual PDF file sitting there. Uh, and again, I would avoid spaces in the name for that um, just to keep it HTML friendly. Um, this demo uses iText 559, so they they made so many changes to iText. Uh, they skipped version six; they went right to version seven. Uh, and I really didn't want to mess with that business, so we just stuck with what we know, which was 559. Um, and this is the link where you can grab uh, iText from. And I imported them as jars in this, but they could also be put into an OSGI library to make make available to everything on the server. Note, iText is not necessarily free. Um, it's kind of like free to, I think, develop with and kind of play with, but once you start using it for real for commercial purposes, then you got to pony up and buy a license. Um, I believe this could be done in, in Adobe, or not Adobe, in, in, in Apache Poi, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, and I've not done it. So if you want to do a show on that, let us know. Let me know. Uh, but I don't know a free way to do this because I've never tried to do it. We just use iText. And here's a screenshot of, of the, the jar files and stuff on, on the right hand side. Okay, so this is what the form looks like when I when I am given it and I put it into uh, Acrobat Professional. So so this is the form. You can't see the field names on the screen, but but somebody uh, drew up this form for me, and they, they did a good job, quite honestly. And this is what we use to ship things. It's our bill of lading. Okay, if I put it in more edit mode, here you can see it with the form or with the fields and stuff. So you can click on a field, and there's all these properties there. You can set the appearance. It's probably a dumb default tab to leave on. You should probably show in the field name or something like that. Uh, but you can kind of set a lot of things. You can set whether it's multi-line for the ship from, for instance, or single line at, at by default or so. And again, that's just, just what it looks like. So how does this work? Well, uh, we're going to use an X agent, though, of course, you could use this as, as a pure servlet, too. And the X agent is just going to call Java code to build this um, PDF. Um, I'm going to call the Java code from server-side JavaScript because it's like two lines and it's easy. So uh, why not? You know, why, why go through too much hassle, you know, to avoid server-side JavaScript if you don't have to? So we're going to basically say this report equals new com.notes9.itext.pdf.bll. That's my class. And then I'm going to run the do report method. 
and that do report will will find any uh, URL parameters that it needs that you can pass in with it um, and, and, and then work on it. So uh, again, now I've adapted this code from the day job, which was really originally started by uh, mostly Declan Lynch and then Devin Olson came in and then added some pieces to it. So uh, just be aware that this is pre-existing code and there's bits in there that are really not relevant to the demo. Uh, this was made for uh, multiple PDFs combining and I did leave that code in there um, just to give you a, a, a starter look in case that's something you might be interested in. Um, also, I did do some hard coding in there because I didn't um, uh, want to just call my Java objects and kind of confuse the issue and stuff like that. So I just hard coded the address information. Um, and the main flow is, is three methods. Do report, build the cover page, and then send send it to the client, or in which this case is really to the um um, to the browser for for download, um, and I do show how to read it from the URL to get any custom uh, properties, you you know, parameters that you want to pass in. Okay, with all that being said, let's go to the demo. Okay, so in this demo, we're going to um, use X pages to fill out a pre existing uh, PDF form. So let's see what that looks like. I click on PDF form. Uh, I have it uh, triggering a, an automatic download at this point, so it did. Um, and we look at so this is just our, our shipping form, uh, basically. And you can see that I filled in uh, certain amounts of information, uh, little dots here for the like radio buttons, ship from, ship to. Um, etc. You know, so let's see what that looks like. Close that. Okay, so uh, the, we start off with this PDF page report generator, and all this is this is an X agent. Um, and in this case here, I'm not doing any server side JavaScript really. I'm I'm just saying um, uh, I'm just calling a Java class um, with this server side JavaScript. It's, but the Java class is going to do all the work. So it renders false. Call this Java class. Um, now, before we, we look at the Java code, let's, um, and I actually forgot this <laughs> during the presentation, um, but I imported uh, certain um, elements into uh, the jars, okay? So here's the iText pieces, this iText, these three files here, and then this XML worker is our all part of iText, okay? Um, so there. Okay, so we call this um, IBM or com.notes9.itext.pdf.bol, so let's find that. So that's th this guy right here. Okay, now, uh, again, I, th this this is code that comes from the day job. And the original code combined made a big report out of multiple PDFs, okay? So we were generating multiple PDFs. We combined them into one to produce a bigger report. Um, I'm not combining anything into one here but I left some of this code in here just so you could kind of see it, if that's something that was interesting to you so there's a lot of code in here that is actually not being used um, so don't let that confuse you um, uh, and again maybe I'll take that out later uh, as a later update or so but again maybe you wanted to you know combine multiple things whether um, it's a a, P, a physical form that that is a PDF form, or you're creating a PDF from scratch for so you can get some repeating data in there. Um, that, that's all possible with this, but we're uh, just going to focus on this this one form that we fill out. So if we come down here, um, now I'm setting up internally um, different variables that we're going to use. Normally, you would obviously go to a document or, or a Java object, but for the sake of this demo, I'm just uh, doing some hard coding in here. Okay, um, I set up this little boolean here for an alternate. If you wanted to pass in a, a URL to use a different little set of data, um, you can do that. So I'm not going to show you that in the demo, but but I just wanted to show you how in Java. So this is where we start this do report. You know, we can get a hold of the parameters, the URL parameters, and then we can act on them. So I just have a very simple here of parameter contains key other, uh, just to make something up that use the alternate data set uh, or so. Again, I just wanted you to see. Uh, how to get parameter data out of this inside Java. And then we're going to go to this build full cover page. Um, so if, if we go to build full cover page, uh, we're going to set up some objects for the PDF template and cover stamper 
and this uh, um, uh, get the get the cover. Uh, what was that? B A O S. I, I forget what that means at the moment. Byte byte array output stream. Um, okay, so I just getting a hold of uh, creating in, in memory what you need to do here. Um, and then here's where I use a little alternate. So I'm just going to use the the set variables one. So I call set variables one to just fill in the data and again this is where you would you know normally be using a document or a java object or so with real data and then um, this is how you put data into the field so these field names are actually on the pdf form um, so it's pdf cover stamper which is created from here get acro fields acrobat fields and then that's set field and you, you are going to have to kind of be careful with data types or so because it's kind of picky here um, and then the address information was one field that took multiple lines. So here's one way to do that, which is combining string with a slash n or backslash n and using you no know, plus equals or so. But a better way to do that in Java to combine strings is actually with a string builder. Okay, so that's that's just an example of what I'm showing here to use the, the more preferred string builder. And then that this form um, has different quantity fields, you know, quantity one, quantity two, quantity three. 24, etc. My demo, I'm, again, I'm just hard coding in here, but in the real thing, I, I used a loop and, you know, I, I kind of hard coded, you know, the prefix and then, you know, based on the number of the loop, you know, one through nine or, or whatever it was, I forget, you know, I would have a counter going in the loop so I could target those correctly. Uh, and that worked out pretty well. But again, in this case, I'm just hard coding it. And then we, we close this, you know, you want to close your, your objects here. Um, and then if we come back to the next thing, so then the next thing we do is we just send to client. We're just sending this 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 one um, uh, BAOS, this byte array thing. Um, and again, this was kind of designed for multiple things, but really I just kind of got it to work with the one thing for, for the sake of this demo. So if we go down to this send cover, or send to client, I'm sorry, um, and then we're putting in the um, uh, some print dialogs here. Um, this is where we put the file name here. You know, whatever the file name you actually want it to be. We're setting this this content type. We're setting you know the little date header. Uh, we're getting the output stream, and then we're closing it. We're closing all streams. And again, uh, there's only really one stream, but the original code has more. So most of this stuff is is not necessary. We're really just we just are really just dealing with this guy here okay but if you have more you gotta make sure you close each and every one of them um so i believe that is uh basically that that for the code so it's it's not a lot you can take this and and hopefully just kind of copy it and, and run with it just just like i did i copied from the day job to put the demo together um and you can fill in your own f um, fields on a pre-made pdf And that's the demo. I, I hope you like that. This is one of the better ones, I think, because it's very, very usable if, if, if you do have this need of, of filling out more like governmental type forms and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of this one. Uh, if you have any questions for me, um, here's my contact information and I thank you for your time.